feeling hurt and so I annoyed you, making up reasons to avoid you. Now that all seems just so immature. Just want you back. This has all been a mistake. I don't know what was at stake. I was playing some kind of senseless game. Oh, you don't need to tell me how. Why well, I lost the monkey now. You find yourself some new lover Or oh, did I mention That that was never my intention Here's my confession I was just teaching you a lesson Did you see through me? Cause instead of running back here to me just said, okay, if that's what you really want. No, I just want you back. This has all been a mistake. I didn't know what was at stake. I was playing. Some kind of stupid game Oh, you don't need to tell me how I've lost the monkey now but I just want you back The winner takes it all The loser has to fall was playing some kind of stupid game It's simple and it's plain So how can I complain? Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So I uh, hope you can hear me and see me and everything. If not, I don't know what we'll do, really. Uh, welcome. Uh, so I'm going to be here for about an hour. Uh, there's a few elephants in the room. Uh, I should go through first. Firstly, yes, I played about four wrong chords in that first song. It's the nerves. Uh, and it was ABBA uh, reference at the end there. Yes, those of you spotted that. Uh, Secondly, yeah, I've got a different hair. Uh, it's my new uh, silver look, silver shorts, silver short back and sides. Call it what you want. Uh, obviously, the other element is the fact that everyone's at home and we're not at a gig somewhere. Uh, so this is another a lockdown session, if you like. And uh, for the... Uh, oh, yeah, it's my birthday, as you can see. Uh, from the many cards display. Thank you very much for everybody who sent me a card. Thank you for the presents. Thank you for the uh, kind wishes on all the various uh, formats. It's all very much appreciated. I've been reading them all day. Uh, <coughs> I've not actually been practicing these songs to be honest with you. So the idea is you pick a song uh, and I'll play it. And I'll see, uh, see where we go. So we've got a couple already, I see, on this little table, <laughs> they like me. Uh, also, any questions? I don't want to play songs for an hour, because I'll be, uh, I'll be hoarse by the end of it. So I so see, uh, Darren Murphy. Uh, this is a good one to kick off with, because he actually works for the NHS. Uh, and he wants gazebo, so let me see if I've got that in my book. Gazebo. Let's get smart. Right, let's uh, 
Mm. Obviously, these are acoustic versions, so they're on of the uh, all of that stuff. I knew it was you from the minute you strolled into the gazebo like you'd never been gone. And if this is a game where you win it, hope that I were honest, but you're still first one. Your chair's right there, I guess you've seen it. It's funny how the years have gone and slips away. Oh, but you haven't changed a bit, no, I mean it. You still say things that no one else would say. I'm sure you amuse me, but you also confuse me. Then you turn round and lose me I thought I'd forget you I didn't want to upset you So you went and I let you You wouldn't believe all the time that I've wasted Staring at the photographs you sent to me But I remember oh exactly how you tasted And just how much you really meant to me Oh no, I'm seeing someone here you don't know how She's one in a million but she isn't me But it could never be well as close as we were I hate to say it but I think it's true Oh sure you miss me but you also confuse me And you turn around and use me I thought I'd forget you I didn't want to upset you So you went and I let you That's gazebo <coughs> The album was easy. El Rey was the first song actually. Well, not El Rey, it was uh, I Lost the Monkey from El Rey. Uh, that's with Aaron Murphy. Hope you heard it. If you whisper, I can hear you anyway. You're right next to the microphone. Uh, <coughs> I can't. Everyone can hear you except me because I think you're whispering. This is for uh, Joy Shilaker or Shilika. And uh, she's been very poorly, so I hope you get better soon. And we will see you when we can play live again. <laughs> I'm actually starting to worry a little bit now about uh, at the edge of the sea because concerts are kind of disappearing. I was genuinely hoping that we could. August might be okay, but people, you know, we've, we're supposed to be playing in somewhere in September. Uh, I can't remember where, now, but that's been moved now. So it's like a little island <laughs> at the edge of the sea, fighting off the waves, like King Canute, really. So, anyway, uh, Joy wanted to hear my favourite dress. Don't forget those questions. <laughs> Are you writing the questions down there? Sometimes these words just don't have to be said I know how you both feel The heart can rule the head Jealousy is an essential part of love The hurting here below And the emptiness above there's always something left behind There's always something left behind Never mind Oh, never mind The tender caresses that bring the man, I can't still be drunk at five, but I guess I surely can. 
slowly your beauty is eaten away by the scent of someone else in the blanket where we lay oh, there's always something left behind there's always something left behind maybe next time When you never came, some rare delight in Manchester town. It took six hours before you let me down to see it all. And a drunken kiss, a stranger's hand on my favorite dress. Yeah. That was my favorite dress, you know. That was my favorite dress. Victoria Barnes. If that's you, where are you watching? There, there or there? I don't know. Happy birthday. Oh, there you go. Uh, you're probably younger than me, I imagine. <laughs> Most people are. Uh, Brassneck uh, is the request. She saw the wedding was in Leeds at St. George's Hall in 1990, and it will make her lockdown birthday complete. Happy birthday to you. Is that me or her? <laughs> Both massive fans and uh, you, your music brought us together. Uh, she said you wore swimming shorts. I didn't wear swimming shorts, did I? No. I we used to wear shorts. Uh, not for any fashion reason or stylish reason, just because I, I, I still do actually get really hot at concerts because uh, it's, qu it's quite uh, energetic music that the way it play, as you probably know. And in those clubs and the lights and everything. I think I started it at a festival in Italy because it was boiling and I just had shorts on in the sound check and then uh, I carried on for the concert. I thought, mm, this is quite comfortable actually, I'll do this. And a lot of sports people uh, do it, so uh, I'll do it. But uh, looking back now at those photographs, might have been the, not the, the best decision I ever made in my uh, career. But there you go. No, I'm not wearing them ever again, so before you ask, uh, let's see, brass neck, you said, oh yes, I know this one. Sleeping down the LP is quite nicely here, so it was uh, El Ray, then uh, Ratisi, and then <coughs> Josh Best, and now it's Brass, and now it's Bizarro. <laughs> that letter to ask you if the end was worth the means was there really no in between but I still don't feel better I just wonder if it could be like before and I think you just made me sure but then I stood with you and 
I might have been a bit rude, but I wrote an in a bad mood. I'm not being funny with you, but it's hard to be engaging when the things you love keep changing. Brass neck. Brass neck. I just decided I don't trust you anymore. I just decided I don't trust you anymore. The first time you came over, do you remember saying, then you stay for good? No, I didn't think you would. Well, we couldn't have been closer, but it was different then. And that's all in the past. And there I said an hour last. You grew up quicker than me. Oh, I kept so many old things. I never quite stopped hoping. I think I know what this means. And it means I've got to grow up. It means you want to throw up. Brassnick Brassnick I just decided I don't trust you anymore I just decided I don't love you anymore You weren't listening, were you? Or just go Whatever you prefer to That's what it means a lot When you use an old phrase And uh, so what? We can't have it both ways And I know You're not bothered, are you? Even so I'm not gonna argue but he won't forget Keep writing to me Just don't forget You ever knew me Thank you. Play around with the melody there, you might notice. Just for fun. So, 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 so. Question. Arguably, the, this is from Paul Brooks. Arguably, the wedding present has a very distinct uh, sonic phases throughout the band's history. Which phase has been your favourite and which producer brought out the best of the band in those various phases? That's, that's really impossible for me to answer, <laughs> to be honest, uh, because... Uh, for two reasons. One is it could be kind of like choosing between your children. Really, every album that we've done has obviously got you know it's got its own place in my heart, and uh, and they're so different. It, it's kind of hard to compare them in many ways. You know, I, I don't think we're the kind of band who who make the same record over and over again like many people do. Not that that's a bad thing. People people actually prefer that in some cases. However, with the wedding present, we've always strived to make each record different, and so. It's a bit like comparing chalk and cheese, really, I think. Uh, and it's the same for the producers, you know, people people we've worked with over the years, they've all brought out different aspects of the band. Uh, some have gone for, kind of the, for the rockier, darker side, some have gone for the, the janglier, poppier side, uh, there's, and all stations in between, really. So, yeah, sorry, I can't answer that one. <laughs> uh,
Yeah, don't think it was that. Sorry about that. Uh, so, uh, three questions on this page actually, so let's do these while we get the, while we get the next request coming through. Rod Hamilton. <clears throat> That's why I printed a half thing, by the way, for you to look at. Uh, question for David. Well, who else? Let me hear. I just saw the Stones performing online last week. They're well into their 70s. How long will they keep going? It, funnily enough, if you'd have asked me in 1985 when the Wedding Present released their first single, uh, would I be doing this at the age of 60? I would have said absolutely not. There's no way that I would be doing this. In fact, I had this vision that we probably, you know, we didn't even plan to do an LP in, in many ways. We just thought, you know, we'll do a few singles and that'll be it, really. Uh, so, but then again, what else would I have done? You know, I think I was kind of, I never, you know, in a way, I never chose to do this. Uh, it, it's almost like I drifted into being in a group. I've always been obsessed with music and pop groups and rock, rock and roll and stuff. And uh, there was never a time when I thought, I want to be in a band. It's, I've always wanted to be in a band, really, from, from as long as I can remember. So, in, in that respect, it's actually not that surprising, because I'm not sure, you know, there's, there's things I would like to do, you know. But this is what I seem to do. <laughs> so, uh, how long will I, it's not the answer to the question, is it? How long will I keep going? I don't know, who knows, who knows. <laughs> yeah. Got my bus pass on the way, so I'm not, I'm not sure. M.E.K. Is that your rapper name? Tell us about your days in lockdown and what's the, my favourite duet that I've written. Well, this is, this is going to sound a bit weird, but my, my days in lockdown haven't been that dissimilar from my days. Uh, I mean, basically, we've, we've been very lucky that I think I said this when we did the raffle, <clears throat> that we've not really planned at all for this period. We did some concerts in January, and we had some in June, which are now postponed. But we're incredibly lucky. I mean, previous years, we've been all around the world, as you probably know. We've been to you know, Australia, Japan, North America, all over Europe. So had this happened at any other time in the last few years, it would have been a logistical nightmare. <laughs> Uh, however, when we're not on tour, I'm actually at home writing songs, doing the accounts, <laughs> uh, looking at future ideas for releases and stuff. And I've, I've been doing that really. I mean, the only difference is obviously I'm not going out for uh, a fancy lunch at the bistro or anything like that. I'm just uh, staying at home. Uh, Ocado deliveries rather than going to the supermarket. Yeah, that's the only two things that are different, really. So, uh, yeah. Uh, my heart goes out to the people who, who still have to work, you know, in those uh, emergency services and stuff, but uh, it's not really affected my job at all. And the second part of the question was, what's the favourite duet? Mm, that's a good question. Uh, favourite duet. <clears throat> what duets have we done? I can't remember. Oh, I, I know I like. I like the, uh, we did the song called The Girl from the DDR. And we, we did it, uh, my original idea was cause, because the DDR is the, the, the former East Germany, we'd, we'd have some German lyrics in there. And then when uh, Pepe, who was the bass player at the time, sang a few lines, I thought, uh, this is actually better than it's turning out than I thought it would turn out to be. And I think we should probably do the whole song. So in the end we did, a multilingual duet, really, which uh, I thought it worked really well, and it's one of my favourite songs as a result. <coughs> questions, 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 but no, uh, no requests. You're not passing any requests. It's good. What's uh, Happy birthday to my, my nephew, Johan. What uh, Facebook is it? What you're on? Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We can't do YouTube because we, uh, we've, I think we've lost the password or something. We just can't, uh, we need some. If anybody out there is a YouTube specialist, get in touch. 
because we've got a wedding present TV channel. We've not used it for years. Time for another song. Who's that requested by? He's got it, you know, you know. Let's do it too fast. You'd never make a radio producer. Let's do it too fast. We'll make notes. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's not Silver Shot, what was it? Swimming Pool's Movie Stars. Oh, back to what you see. That's a good one for an acoustic guitar, actually. That's a good choice. Whoever you are, we'll never know, because apparently your name has not been recorded for the uh, history of this fantastic event. <coughs> Is my voice sounding really hoarse? I've got it to an amplifier this time, because it was a bit quiet last time, but as I say, I've been practicing all day, so... Not that you would tell. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that's got a high bit as well. I seem to remember. I'll stand over here and wait. And you walk past me again. I'll try and say hello. It doesn't look like you are here with anyone. Maybe they've already gone Oh, I don't know I thought I had nothing else to say The things I'd love to say If I got the chance And I'm How grateful I would be if you could just give me a second glance And it's all because tonight I see you in a different light Bunny girls and motor cars Swimming pools and movie stars Just don't use me anymore and I'm not even sure I like them then Feel like I'm awakened And I'll do anything Please just say when And it's all because tonight I've seen you in a different light Bunny girls and motor cars Swimming pools and movie stars They can't keep it They can't keep it on If only you want a car yeah. They can't keep it They can't keep it on If only you want a car I might stop that one there because <laughs> My throat's a bit sore for those high notes. But anyway, that's 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 the gist of it really. So we feel those movie stars. Everyone has at least one good film script in them. What's the plot of yours? Even if the story was bobbins, at least the soundtrack would rock. Very kind of you to say. Oh, that's a good one. What would I do? What's my uh, hello producer? Hmm? Can you give me a hint? If if I had one good film script, what would it be? Hmm. Spy story, maybe Cold War. East Germany. The girl from ZDR would come in very handy there, actually. I've had to you know mention that uh, an East German spy story in my comic book. Tales from the Wedding Present. Hopefully, Thack is watching somewhere. My uh, friend and the artist. That was Matt uh, Nash, I think. Oh no, it wasn't. Maybe that was. Maybe this one's Matt Nash. I don't know. Uh, the Wind President and Cyril Hall done the best cover versions. Again, thank you. Uh, which is your favourite that you've done? And is there a song you've got your eye on to do next? I think my favourite is, I used to say Falling, which was the uh, Twin Peaks theme, which we did in the uh, Hit Parade series. 
which I thought, because I, I loved that program actually. I thought, oh, I'm a big fan of David Lynch and I always loved uh, that, that, that series. It got a bit weird, didn't it, at the end, <laughs> to be honest with you. But so the idea of it was good. But I always thought the music was a great tune, but not, I'm not a massive fan of uh, synthesizers, shall we say. Well, post 1960s synthesizers, anyway. Quite like a Moog. But, uh, or Moog, as they say in America, for some reason. Uh, where was I? Yes, <laughs> so I thought we could do a, a darker version uh, and kind of more encapsulate the, the mood of the of the of the television series more than a, the, you know nothing wrong with the Angelo Badalamenti version, but I just thought ours was a bit a bit kind of more exciting and a bit more well rockier, I suppose. But uh, so that was my least that was my uh, that was my favourite uh, cover version so far. One I've got my eye on actually, yes. Is it called New York, New York, or is it just called New York? But anyway, you know the Frank Sinatra. I'd like to have a go at that one day. So, by the way, don't feel like you've got to watch it to the end. And it's probably, you know, it's probably a bit boring. Me waffling on and then uh, playing playing some acoustic songs rather badly. So you're excused if you wanna if you wanna check it out. We're not keeping tabs on you. Uh, this is the last question. I don't seem to have any more requests. Oh, this. We need a team of producers, really, don't we? She's got three, <laughs> three, three assistants to look at and a printer, and she's reading two laptops at the same time. It's like mission control in here, honestly. Uh, Chris Band. Is that his name, or is that a band question? Just nodding doesn't really answer me, does it? Uh, <laughs> what do I consider the best and worst aspects of the music business? Well, the best aspect, obviously for me, is that I've managed to uh, carve a, a fairly decent career out of, of uh, something that I've, I've always loved, which is music, pop music. So the best thing is it's provided me with an income. So I've never, never had a proper job, really, to be honest with you. Uh, well, I had a proper job when I was at university and in the school holidays I used to work at my dad's uh, factory uh, throwing horrible meat products around. But uh, since then, uh, no, I've been, I've been fortunate enough that uh, this, uh, this has paid my mortgage. The worst aspect aspects. Oh, the worst aspects of the music industry. I mean, you kind of think there's, there's a lot of, uh, it's always kind of bothered me that I've seen a lot of fantastic groups and songwriters who've never gone anywhere, and then at the same time you switch on, you know, Top of the Pops, 1989, and there's so much rubbish on there the other week, I don't know if you saw it, and I kind of think, how did, how did they do that? And I know exactly how they did it, it's because they signed to a major record label and put loads of money into it and forced it down people's necks. It's kind of happening again now, isn't it, with, you know, your X Factors and so, so you know, that, that. but then it, it, no one ever said it had to be fair or democratic and no one ever said that talent was the be all and end all of a successful career, so, uh, what do I know? Kennedy, I can't do Kennedy, I don't think Kennedy would work really. Natasha Little, <laughs> that's another of my relations. Oh, you just answer, you just get questions from all the people that are related to me. Yeah, Kennedy won't really work. It's more like, uh, you know, I don't know if it might work. Well, thank you for your request. And the question was, what has been the best day of my life so far? That's a big question. For a gentleman of my advanced years. Well, probably <laughs> was one. One of them was uh, when John Peel played "Go and Get Involved" on the radio for the first time, and uh, changed my life forever. And I remember hearing it on the radio because I used to listen to Peel all the time, John Peel all the time. And then I kind of we hoped he was going to play because we sent him a copy, obviously. And then when he 
the opening chords came on, I leapt out of the door, ran down the street to Keith's house, who was the bass player at the time, and lots of them, are you listening? Yeah, of course I'm listening. And uh, that was a very exciting, thrilling moment. And uh, that, yeah, as I say, that's when it, that's kind of when it's the wedding present started, really, I suppose. a request and a question from Lynn Reynolds. A few months ago you were asking for suggestions for small venues in South Wales for an acoustic gig. Did I make any decisions? Uh, yes, we did. Basically, <clears throat> we are, the plan is to compile my aforementioned uh, comic Tales from the Wedding Present. <clears throat> it's my autobiography in comic book form, if you've never seen it. Uh, and release that later this year and we were thinking of doing a little kind of acoustic stripped back tour of uh, seated venues where we can play a bit like this really but with a bit better really obviously. Uh, Terry would come over, she's my co-writer, Terry DeCastro, she would come over and uh, Melanie would do it as well I think. And we'll just play little theatres around them. So I was asking for any, for any advice, I, there was, I got a huge response so thank you for that to Twitter. And I sent it to our agent, and he's working on it. But of course, it's a, it's a strange time because we were, we were planning to do this in November, and uh, who knows whether venues will be open again in November. So fingers crossed. But uh, I can't remember the one in South Wales, but they're not all confirmed yet anyway. So when they're confirmed, no doubt there'll be in our fantastic newsletter and uh, social media. And she wants to, to hear a million miles. Okay. You might have guessed not every of the 300 songs are actually in this file. <laughs> a bit hit and miss, really. <clears throat> we are planning to do a, a, a kind of a, a lockdown session with all the members of the wedding present uh, as well. Kind of working on that at the moment, so it'd be you know, I think it would be semi-acoustic, but I think it would be all four of us with uh, if we can work out the technology to uh, get everybody on the camera at the same time and record stuff. So this I mentioned that because this is one of the songs which we will probably do on that session. Don't know why I keep doing that. Annoying little habit that. Isn't it? Past this doorway 30 times Just trying to catch your eye You made it all worthwhile and You returned my smile It all became worthwhile Don't you feel a little coaster by the door You know I'd really like to talk some more Oh, don't be worried about your friend I think she left some time round in ten What was her name again? You're not like anyone I've ever met You're not like anyone I've ever met Much of Charlie over here. Oh no, I've known him off and on for years. He's never mentioned you before. Oh, that didn't come out right at all. And now I feel the small. That seems to be it, don't get me wrong. But how are you gonna get back home? Oh, I'd be willing to walk that way There's something i just got to say I can walk a million miles today 
you're no life Anyone I've ever met You're no life Anyone I've ever met I kept pushing up the left arm All the way home I had to trust somebody And go too far I can't think of anything else No matter how I try But you know I can't even remember The color of her eyes And that's right singing the guitar parts in my head. Sit on the home. You're not like anyone I've ever met. You're not like anyone I've ever met. Well, it's not yet. This is the most expensive guitar I've ever bought, by the way. I've still got the price tag on it. It's uh, £675. But that was about uh, 25 years ago. So what's it worth now? I don't know. It's cracked as well there. There we go. Anyway, yes. <laughs> So you're good at that kind of producing. Get on with it. Get on with it. Right. Uh, let me see what we got here. Oh, I think the questions have dried up a little bit. Uh, oh, a Cinerama song. Let's do that one. Sue Bolton and David Crampton. Kerry Kerry. This was the first Cinerama single in the year of, I don't know, 1998, was it? Oh. Okay. <coughs> Has Melanie begun to say it sounds okay? Oh, okay. It's making time, huh? <laughs> I know, I know. Ooh, time goes fast, doesn't it? World leaves, can't you? Look at me when I'm speaking to you. Cause there are things I've gotta say. Oh, what was it sneaking to you? When you thought I looked away. I get it, I get it. Now I understand just what you're playing. I get it, I get it I guess there isn't any point delaying Would rather that I wasn't here You don't have to say the word, it's crystal clear But a presence with my money That makes me feel just great older I've got to say that it is kind of funny and you could think I know I get it, I get it It was just another way of saying I get it, I get it That you really didn't want me staying oh, I bet you just wish that I'd disappear You don't have to say a word is crystal clear I'm lying in my bed Oh, you remember when Because it was you who said That we'd never be apart again But now the longer that I hang around The more anxious that you get Oh, it looks like Romeo has found Another studio Because you would rather that I wasn't here you don't have to say a word is crystal clear 
I bet you just wish that I disappeared. You don't have to say a word, it's crystal clear. Was originally going to be called Crystal Clear, that for obvious reasons. And I changed it to Kerry Kerry after that. A long story. Right then, where are we? So yeah, I've got to say, apparently on Instagram you only get an hour and then it ends. So uh, that's why we made it an hour long, I think. So we, you might be leaving us at some point. Let's have a quick uh, spin through these. From Hillary, please say hi to Lorda and Michael. Huge fans here and... Green, a Green Party councillor. Well, should we be being political? I don't know. Other political parties are available, but uh, they're in Wicklow and they wanted to hear no distress in your arm. Well, let me see. I could do that one. This is for people of all political colours. And when I called your house I'm sure your sister thought that I was somebody else I heard a laugh down the phone And then the answer came that you weren't as wrong You know I never go there Because I hate to dance and you really don't care Why don't you go on your own? How can you lie there and say that you'll come back alone? Oh well, that's fine. I don't care anymore. Nobody's twisting your arm. Here's the key. There's the door. Oh well, that's fine. I don't care anymore. Nobody's twisting your arm Here's the key There's the door Before we go back in What about the secret smiles That you were giving to him oh, Just somebody you met well, I go out of my way in the city, thanks that I get out. I'm just a slave to your greed. I'm not the kind of boyfriend that you need. But if you'd like me to go, you'll get no trouble from me just so long as I know. Well, that's fine, I don't care anymore Nobody's twisting your arm Here's the key, there's the door Oh, well, that's fine, I don't care anymore Nobody's twisting your arm Here's the key, there's the door I don't love you anymore birthday to me. <laughs> I can't just belt them out, Jessica. I've got to have a rest. Fine, it looks sleep driver. Mm. Apologies to those listening in France. It's the Sia Tempranillo. Well, congratulations, Spain, on a great wine.
Right then, so crawl, you were saying. Why are you stood there like that? It's uh, for Simon Bailey. Okay, yes, I've got that. And you're going to put those there. Oh, yeah, there's one there I haven't done. <coughs> Right then. Oh, this is Crawl. Did I say that already? This is a bit low. I've got such a range. is his home it's time for him to crawl back under his stone do you remember when he just one chord as well this year heard this before it wasn't really like that And you could do it again Oh, you're right, I have changed from before But it wasn't really like that Just listen now instead Of thinking over things I said Oh, years and years ago I stole a course I lied Yes to you, but you must see why couldn't just be told There were some things I had to do Say that again and I'll kill you And so on, really, that's kind of it. Just thinking we've got to squeeze a few more in here because the Instagram people will be going Next question, next question. Whoa, this is all flying in there. What's my favourite venue to play? Maybe my favourite venue to play is actually the Concord 2 here in Brighton, where I do my festival every year. I've played it more than any other place in the world. Um, a lot of songs mention specific names, like Charlie. That was from uh, Alex uh, Mikalakos. Uh, from Sean Super Says Love. Uh, songs mention specific names, like Charlie, Sally. How many of them are autobiographical? To be honest, when it's a name, it usually is biographical, to be fair. There's a couple of fake names, but uh, okay. What song do I, play, do I enjoy playing live the most? <sighs> love, love. Oh, It's a Gas, I always like playing live. That was from G Powell. Uh, Dark Lantern Digital. Dark Lantern Digital from Instagram says, Do your neighbours know the Linux is also a rock and roll legend? I okay, try and keep it quiet, to be honest with you. Such a modest uh, chap. Um, Mrs. B works for the NHS, requesting Rachel. Can't do Rachel because it's a weird tuning and I'm not gonna, we won't have time to tune the guitar. Sorry, uh, Mrs. B. Uh, next time, maybe. <laughs> we'll see about that. I'd have to have a second guitar tune. Jessica, you just don't understand how it works. Sweaty mask on all day. Yeah, I feel for you. Oh, uh, so we've got time for, what have we got time for? Two more, have we? What do you want? What do you want me to do with that? Get up there. Ah. <laughs> See what you didn't say. Oh my god, this is heavy. That's uh, my birthday trifle there. We should, we should play uh, uh, Too late, too late. Also, didn't use my There you go. Also, didn't also didn't use the plane in Brighton. Well, they were until this happened. Is that in shot? Does that make a lovely finale? Uh, I'm only going 
got one more request here. Chris Williams. It's like the raffle all over again, this isn't it? Chris Williams requested give my love to Kevin. So we'll do that one. If you can find a final request, we might have time to do that before the hour is up. Right corner. Why should I want to know his name? What difference does it make? You know I tried that hard to keep away Just had to call again Where did you go last night? Oh, what's a new place like? Okay, I won't ask any more questions then You can't tell me lies The sort of job I would do myself, but then I'm not him. Oh, he buys me pretty things, and what does your mother think? Just can't bear to imagine you sharing a bed with him. Some kid I've never met We better solve this I'll be forever Say something I'll regret No, I'm sure it's it's him I'm not trying to be anything Before I leave I want you to give my love to Kevin So, yes, that's about it, I think. Uh, thank you very much for watching, listening. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, in case you've never seen me before, I never do encores. No reflection on you. You've been a wonderful audience. You three cameras, or wherever you are. iPods. Not an iPod. Showing my age there. Yeah, which is 60. I know iPads, that's the word. It almost sounds like a sanitary towel, doesn't it, iPad? I don't know. Uh, right. Thank you very much. Uh, what was that? <laughs> My so-called producer trying to give me messages. Uh, any more requests? Do I see any? <clears throat> this is the final song. I don't think I've got a request. I didn't see one. Oh, dare. Yeah, quite an appropriate one. I think we started with an NHS worker. Uh, let's end with one. Ian Webster. I hope you're not watching on Instagram because you probably won't see this. Because I think we've run over time. This is the final song. And he wanted dare. Dare's a weird one for me because uh, I played there on my uh, fantastic, uh, weirdly tuned guitar. So I don't really know the chords because uh, they don't really, uh, it's not the chords that gives up. In the traditional sense, anyway. <clears throat> okay. Let's give it a go, shall we? I'm trying to read my own notes there. And there's one more thing come inside. No, I'm all alone. Daddy 
is in here today. She said she had to get away. She was on your ride just by the telephone. She promised that you'd try and win. So far, I haven't heard a thing. I'm glad you came round though, because there's something I must know. I shook your hand when you walked away. Maybe had a row and never believe it now. The things you said as you turned my way, the look that came into your eyes, I can't tell you by surprise. And you can't have not known that I would be here on my own. Stay all night, I dare you. Look who is going on I can't believe you want to go Yes, alright, I scare you But you are just as bad as me I don't know where I'd rather be You call him John, or tell him anything. How we tremble when we kiss. One day soon we'll laugh at this. But just tonight we got everything. Stop listening for the dawn. I told you wish you went before. And nothing can go wrong if you're not here too long. Stay. All night I tell you Look, who is gonna know I can't believe you want to go Yes, all right, I scare you But you are just as bad as me Oh well, I would rather be Goodbye to everybody. Thank you very much, and uh, I'm going to get a takeaway curry. I think. Uh, you like curry as well, don't you? See you next time. I'm going to leave you on there. You're the placeholder, Boris. <laughs>